FIFA World Cups, like the Olympic Games, encourage a great deal of development in their host countries, with numerous stadiums and support infrastructure being built ahead of the events. Russia's hosting of the FIFA World Cup in the summer of 2018 is no different. As with the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia is investing heavily in the World Cup, spending an estimated 10 billion US dollars building new stadiums and refurbishing existing facilities. The 2018 FIFA World Cup will see 65 matches hosted across 11 cities in 12 of the most modern stadiums in the world. In total, seven new venues have been custom built for the World Cup, while three further stadiums are less than five years old and the remaining two have had serious upgrades to make them fit to host World Cup games. The massive construction programme means that this FIFA tournament will be played in the most modern selection of stadiums so far. Here, we count down the best of these venues. We kick off in Russia's second city, St. Petersburg, with the 68,000-seater Krestovsky Stadium. Set to host both a semi-final and the third-place playoff, along with group games and a round of 16 match, the new stadium has been designed to mimic a spaceship. A modified and enlarged version of the Toyota Stadium in Japan, the venue has unfortunately been beset by problems and is now delayed and over budget. Reportedly costing 1.7 billion US dollars, the stadium will not only be the most expensive to host games at the 2018 World Cup, but also the most expensive soccer stadium ever built. Heading from the north to the far south of the country, we arrive at the Fischer Stadium in Sochi. Built to host both the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2014 Winter Olympics, the venue will become only the second stadium in history to host both the Winter Olympics and the FIFA World Cup, the first being the Olympic Stadium in Turin. The 779 million US dollar Fabergé egg inspired stadium is named after the nearby Fischer Mountain. Originally built as an enclosed facility, the 40,000-seat venue was reopened in 2016 as an open-air football stadium and will host a quarter-final, round of 16 match and four group games. At number three on our list is arguably the best-looking stadium of the tournament, the Cosmos Arena in Samara. Named Cosmos as the city is the centre of Russia's space industry, the 370 million US dollar stadium will host six games at the World Cup, including one of the Russian team's matches. The most interesting feature of the new 45,000-seater venue is its distinctive 65.5-metre-high dome roof, which gives the stadium the look of an asteroid crater, apparently. Up next is Russia's largest stadium. With an incredible capacity of 81,000, the Moscow venue will host seven games at 2018's FIFA World Cup, including both the semi-final and the all-important final. Built between 1955 and 1956, and originally called the Central Lenin Stadium, the venue was the centerpiece of the 1980 Olympics. The ground was renovated in 1996 and has been extensively rebuilt ahead of the 2018 World Cup. This latest 420 million US dollar refurbishment has seen the athletics track removed, stands rebuilt closer to the pitch, and the overall capacity increased. The result is a truly modern stadium that stands within the facades of its historic predecessor. Topping our list is a truly innovative piece of design that will see spectators seated outside a stadium for the first time at a World Cup. In a similar manner to the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow, this is a modern arena built within an existing protected facade. However, as this venue did not have the required minimum capacity to host FIFA World Cup games, a novel solution was required. To increase capacity to 45,000, and in a move reminiscent of the temporary expansion of London's Aquatic Centre during the 2012 Olympics, two temporary stands have been built outside the stadium behind the goals at each end of the pitch. After the tournament, the stands will be removed and the stadium will become the home of FC Ural.
If we've scored with this video and you'd like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M. Oh, that ending is so cheesy. Are we keeping that in?